Hi, I'm Bright. And I'm Sean. And this is a special spring break edition of the BHS Broadcaster. Keeping you in the know. First, we go to Brooklyn with news about the baby shower for the Rains family. Jake Rains recently had a baby with his wife, Crystal. Their baby's name is Paisley Marie, and she was born December 24, 2014. Now to Mr. Rains to talk more about fatherhood. Um, what I enjoy about being a father is the responsibility that goes along with being a father, um, something I do really enjoy doing. And the hard things about being a father would definitely be lack of sleep. Um, it gets pretty tough sometimes. Like, uh, the crying is a bit much at some points, but you just kind of deal with it and make do. And now we go to Catherine, who has some information on an upcoming variety show here at BHS. The variety show is the second project for my advanced theater class. We have monologues, we have duo scenes, we have a group scene, we have solos, we have um, duets and music. Um, we also have choreography and use of special um, effects makeup. It will be April 16th, which is the Thursday when we get back from spring break. And it starts at 7 o'clock in the auditorium. On top of that, our final number is a sneak peek for our spring musical. The Time for Real Science Research Program is a class that gives students the opportunity to conduct research with support from teachers and professionals in the field. Here are some current time students to talk about their projects from this year. Our project was working with the bean potaspid, which is an invasive stink bug that is devastating soybean crops. So we, um, over three years, we've been doing tests to see what chemicals they produce and respond to so that um, by finding their pheromone, a pheromone trap can be made. Seniors, the final day to make payments for the senior trip to Dollywood and Splash Country and Pigeon Forge is on April 1st. For more information on the trip plans, talk to Mrs. McCall. The final day for graduates to order cap and gowns is this Wednesday, April 1st. If you have any questions about the cost and or procedures, ask Ms. McCall. For this week's Club Spotlight, we learn more about Brevard High School's HOSA Club. It's a club for anybody who um, has an interest in the health occupations field. You don't have to be in the health science classes to be in it. It's open to anybody. It's a lot of fun. We do the Pink Week every year to support or to raise money for people with breast cancer to help them. We also do two blood drives a year. We did this blood drive the past, this past Thursday, and we got about 60 donors, which was really a good turnout for us. The reason why I donated my blood to the Red Cross is so I can become a leader and help save lives, and hopefully that my blood would get to someone soon. I gave blood because my grandfather gave over 70 pints of blood in his lifetime, so I'm trying to beat his record. A blood transfusion actually saved my uncle's life one time, and when I heard that we were having a blood drive here at the high school, I thought it was my opportunity to give back. Rehearsal for the BHS musical has been underway for a few weeks now. In preparation for this, we've talked to the students who are playing the lead characters about the play and their roles. I am Miss Reno Sweeney, and I am an evangelist, evangelistic night singer. Um, my role is I'm a good friend of Billy's and uh, I'm trying to help him get to hope and there are two other characters that are uh, kind of gangster New York characters, um, 20s gangster, and we are all working as a team to get them together and I'm kind of that person who is always getting people riled up and as well as Bonnie are always getting people riled up and just really excited and helping Billy out. I play a character named Hope Harcourt, and she's kind of this ingenue, naive woman who's engaged to um, uh, Lord Evelyn Oakley, and she's kind of marrying into money because her family lost some money um, recently, and she is not in love with her fiancé. She finds out that her past love affair um, with Billy Crocker um, will be brought back into the light because Billy's on board the same ship she is. This year's prom theme has just been announced. For more information, we talked to John Harris. Hey BHS, I'm John Harris, junior class president. 
So I'm here to inform you about what's going on with the prom. So this year's theme is going to be a Star Summer Night. We're selling tickets right now for juniors, seniors, and um, sophomores if they're asked by a senior or junior. And um, there will be $90 a couple, $50 a single. And um, it's going to be a great, great dance. So I, I highly recommend you all buying tickets. So. For this week's Man on a Street question, we asked students and teachers, what are your spring break plans this year? I'm Miss Whitmire and for spring break I'm going to Florida with my sister and her family. And I'm going to Costa Rica to surf. Oh, spring break! My wife and I thought it would be a great idea to start a small farm called Moondog Farms, which we sell pork, eggs, rabbits, and various other things. The problem with spring break is the animals do not go on spring break. So we can't take them with us, so we have to stay. And so I have cursed my family with never having a vacation again. For spring break, I'm going to the beach with the Brevard High softball team. And we're gonna play in a tournament down there and just have a lot of fun doing team bonding activities and eating some really good food and stuff like that. For spring break, I'm taking my baby girl, Rebecca, to Disney World. Spring break, I'm going up to the cabin for a weekend, and then after that, I'm um, just doing work. For more information on these stories and others, check out the Broadcaster website. Can you feel it? Now it's coming back. We can steal it. If we bridge this gap, I can see you through the curtains of the waterfall. When I lost it, yeah, you held my hand, but I tossed it. Didn't understand you were waiting as I dove into the waterfall. So I have died every day waiting for you, darling, don't. I've loved you for a thousand